All right. Test, test, test. Oh, we're going. I need, you know what? I need Spotify. I forgot the Spotify. We can't go without the Spotify. I mean, we could, but it would not be nearly as, as good. Trust me. All right. So, technically, it should be going, right? I press play. Okay. I don't hear it at all. It sounds bad. No. It sounds terrible. <laughs> um, okay. I hope the rest of my voice doesn't sound terrible. Uh, do I need to restart the sound engine? Can I do that? Let me see. Um, menu. Restart the... All right, it's 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 been done, yes. So does Spotify work now? Yeah, dude, way better. Way better. All right. Let's go. So, in addition in addition to to hanging out and doing this, I want to talk about tr the Trump Russia saga. Super importante. Should I make another layer? Yes. Obviously, yes. Well, this might be enough, right? Like, you already got one, two, three filled up. And the rest will be filled up soon. Right, right? Let me see how... That's how it works, right? It's all going to... As according to plan I take this out so I can see see what the plan is to make sure it's going according to it I trust but verify so yeah happy Friday happy Friday Friday happy happy Friday yes yes um yeah for the mornings and for the day, I give my labor to the state to serve Oregon. But now it's my time to play. Hooray! <clears throat> and I was going to say, what I want to do is, like, I was, I was lamenting a few weeks ago when I realized I was talking to this elder. And I was trying to tell him that that Donald Trump was was on Team Russia and he didn't understand me. He didn't really believe me. I mean, like, I well, not that he didn't believe me, it's that he didn't understand what I was talking about. And so I'm like, okay. How can I explain this in a way that an 80 plus year old person can understand who only listens to NPR? Right. It's important, you know, it's important they know. And if you think about it, like, what's 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 their deal? They're like, they're living like, I don't know, they're, they're, they're living, they don't have, they're not plugged into the internet like, like we are. The internet might may as well not even exist for them, to be real. <laughs> Oops, did I? I think I messed up. <laughs> Oops. That's all good? Okay. Oh wait, no, you don't put a block right there, guy. You just killed all the water. Okay, I see. I see what I've done. Right here, right here. There we go. Bop, like that. Okay, and then a water bucket. Oh, I have one right here. Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. So 
this is like this, like this. Oh, yes. Now it works. Again. Okay. <laughs> Careful there with the roof, homie. <laughs> like, just be, be chill. That's the roof. <laughs> okay. So this is supposed to work like this. It comes here and then it turns. I, the snare, right? And then like that second one, whenever it, it like finishes, do I have any, can, you can't bone meal sugar cane. So never mind. <laughs> but there's this whole second layer that I'm waiting to, to hope that it works because the deal is I'm hoping that it works and that it it knocks it over and it goes through the water. But I haven't actually seen it. Like it would hit the water and, and go through it to the bottom. Oh, 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 did it work? I don't see it up here. So it was like 46. Oh, it did it again. I don't see it up here. So it must have went through. Oh. Nope. 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 46. It's still 46. Where did it go, dude? What if I throw in, like, crap? <laughs> Is it falling down? Is it getting stuck somewhere? Like... Man, this thing fires off all the time. If I were to throw, like, dirt in. Yeah, it falls through. But where does it go? Find the dirt. Find where the dirt goes. Where does it go? Oh, that shouldn't matter. It should, it should like fall down anyways. Yeah, it should fall down and it does. Uh... Hmm. Anyways, Trump, Russia. It's, it's a real thing, right? I, I didn't just, like, make it up. I'm not just, like, imagining it. <clears throat> I'm not a conspiracy theorist. It's a real deal. It's a, it's a real thing that, uh, that actually happened. But the problem is that the United States underwent, like, a kind of psyop <laughs> against it. Like, look, I threw dirt in there, but where did the dirt go? Is like I saw sugar cane go down, but where did it go? Oh no, my sword. Shit. Uh, well, we're gonna find out now because I need to find that sword. <laughs> No, dude, it, where did my sword go? <laughs> there's my sword. Okay, so it's over here. Oh, and there's the dirt. Oh, so this one's getting full before it passes it on. I see. This is gonna just fill up with shit. <laughs> Well, here. Yeah, that that's just the way it's going to work, man. All right. All right. Well, it's not perfect, but, you know, it's not, not too bad. Holy crap. 
like this thunder and rain, I can't hear nothing. Ooh, hey, all right. Put this one is back. Block of iron. The wood. The redstone. The stairs. The glowstone. The seeds. The bucket. The blocks. Uh, actually, I need to put the two back. Um. See how I start playing Minecraft and forget to talk about like Trump Russia? I can't. I don't have enough pro brain power to do the two. I can't do the two. If I do one, I can't do the other. How am I gonna explain this to like elderly people <laughs> if I can't? If I don't have the brain power to like process it? Like, but like it's hard to tell. Just like nobody. Like, where do you want to start? Like, do you want to start when Donald Trump lost all his money on the, in the Taj Mahal in, like, the 80s? <clears throat> and then got a bunch of loans from Russia. That's how he got, like, indebted to them, <laughs> to, the, to the mobsters. Do you want to start it back in, like, um, 2013 when Donald Trump held Miss Universe in Moscow? Do you want to start back in, um, I need more torches. Um, do, or do you want to just start when he, he was running for president? Like, but you have to remember, like, Donald Trump is, is just a, a pawn of, of a bigger thing. Donald Trump is just, a just part of a, uh, a bigger plan by Russia. Let me get torches. So, back in the 80s, well, probably even earlier than that, but but we found out about it, like the United States of the West, developed this program called Active Measures. And the purpose of this program is to devise, to understand that the realm of information is a battlefield, is an arena that's like, that you must control, just like all the other um, battlefields that you want to control. And that the West was real, really, really, really slow to catch on to the idea that, the, that, that, um, that, that information, the information sphere could be a battlefield. So, but the problem was back in the 80s, it was pretty crude. Like we didn't have the internet, right? We didn't have any of that, the stuff we have now. Uh, the main sources of information were, were television, radio, and the newspaper. You could go to the library, sure. You can go to your university, maybe. Like, like not a lot of people went to university. I think way less than now. Um, But like your main sources, and but there was no internet. You couldn't just look it up on your phone. You couldn't go to like if you go to the library, it'd be really really hard to do the research to find it. Like you could do it, sure, but like it takes it, it would take work in order to figure out stuff. Like if and and that's it. Maybe it's in the encyclopedia. Other than that, you just didn't know, right? You just didn't know. No one knew. <laughs> oh. So, for the Russians to do a disinformation campaign from the 80s, it was really hard for them. They, they might have gotten, like, radio stations that played strange stuff, like, subversive stuff. But, like, like the, but, but communication technology was, was pretty much held in the hands of, of the gatekeepers, the very, very few. 
and that's the way it was for a long time. That's why it was such a revolution when when Gutenberg created the printing press, because no longer was the word, the written word, um, something only only um, controlled by by uh, the royal court with their scribes and shit like that. Suddenly, the written word could be used by, could be amplified by anyone. You could you could print books for days. I mean, books are still expensive to make, but you could. It, it was way better than having someone handwrite them. <laughs> so <clears throat> that revolutionized stuff, information, because it made information more available. Um. So, and but so the gatekeepers lost out once Gutenberg created his printing press. Likewise, so then everything coalesced around like the 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 television, and which only the 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 big corporations could control really, or newspapers, which really big corporations kind of control that, or books, which publishers pretty much control that. <laughs> so it was pretty hard to get around stuff. Then came the the, the invention, the well, the expansion of the internet, and the internet is the thing that really transformed stuff, because no longer could you only introduce things to culture through like the gatekeepers. Suddenly, everyone had an access node. Anyone could upload, and, and everyone had like a video camera in their hand. Anyone could upload any content at any time, <laughs> especially with YouTube. Once you had YouTube, forget about it. <laughs> like, yeah, and then like when they started live, yeah. So <clears throat> that's, I mean, it, it kind of caused the networks to fragment, remember? They used to control everything, and then the internet came and they broke into pieces. But now they've, they've reformed, they've reformed into like streaming services so it's kind of shitty again we're back to like we, we, where we started but anyways <clears throat> the internet is as revolutionary as the gutenberg press printing press because it allowed it allows information to flow way faster than it used to be able to flow So, so, um, so that's great if you're able to be plugged into it, but if you're not able to, if you're not plugged into it and you're still getting your information from traditional sources, you're only getting a really, really low resolution image of what's going on. You don't really get a good picture, especially if you get it from Fox News, then you get an absolutely distorted picture of it. It's not real at all. But even if you're not into Fox News, dude, my, my elder, he's not into Fox News. He watches NPR. <laughs> like, that's that's not Fox News, dude. Um, but still, he didn't know what was going on. He didn't know. He had no idea that, that um, Donald Trump was on Team Russia. Because it's like a huge thing. And it happened. Like it happened in like 2016, so you're not gonna get the context. And it, and he lives in a in like a pretty conservative state, so his friends are not gonna tell him. His friends are not gonna know. In fact, his friends are probably gonna listen to like, um, well, to nothing, <laughs> or to conspiracy theories, which is like, you know, QAnon. Right, so he's got, he lives literally in a desert, an information desert. And I didn't really realize this. I didn't understand this until I spoke with him. Because I know this guy is hella smart. I know this guy's really smart. There's no way he could like, you know, he, but he was just unaware. Of course, right? He's, eight, he's in his 80s. Dude is not like going to be, you know, like plugged in to new media like like i am like the young generation gener you know like the younger generations like the, they're like plugged in and the older generations it's like a a totally foreign concept they just don't get it for a lot of them now, i'm not saying all of them i'm saying for a lot of them 
and you have to have the infrastructure for it. For a lot of people who live out in rural rural areas, they don't have the infrastructure to get internet. So like, oh man, it's like it's it's a whole other thing. So I need to be able to explain this in a way that makes sense to 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 someone who only listens to like NPR and who's 80. <laughs> like I don't know how I'm going to do it. But like basically Donald Trump is in debt to the Russian mafia. He he he, he buys property with money borrowed from the mafia and then uses the sells those properties to to other Russian mafia people to help them launder their money and then he gets a cut. Now this happened after he went bankrupt with the Taj Mahal. Um Yeah. So Putin wanted to take over Ukraine for a long time. Ukraine became independent in 1991. Uh but like just because you became legally independent doesn't mean you're not being like influenced and invaded all the fucking time by Russia who wants to re-corrupt you and bring you back into the fold back into under Russian control so like even though they were technically legally free in 1991 they got their independence they had to like fight like what it was was a struggle for their for their future was their future back with the US back with Russia or was it closer to Western Europe to, to the EU which direction was Ukraine moving and the people wanted to move to, to, to Europe but the oligarchs and and the you know the oligarchs and the Russians the the Putinists wanted to take back control and put it back in oligarchy uh, so they 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 sent their man called Paul Manafort into Ukraine and he waged this information warfare against the people of Ukraine and he made them well and he like campaigned against a um, a progressive uh, democracy campaign woman um, by saying lock her up lock her up before Hillary Clinton before Hillary Clinton. And then, so then the Russian puppet won, right? Yanukovych, Yanukovych. Well, the, 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 uh, when it was, when it became clear that Yanukovych was like a, was a corrupt Russian puppet and that he was going to bring the Ukraine back into, um, back into, uh, Russia, the, the, uh, the people started revolting, a revolution, started making revolution. And he sent the army to like kill a bunch of them, and then that's when they laid siege to the the uh, presidential palace for like three months in the winter time. <laughs> and they held out for in throughout the winter. They held out. They 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 made an ice tower. They made a tower of ice in the middle of winter time. They were under sniper fire. They're getting beat by the police everything and then finally after three months of this after three months of this um um yanukovych fled and he went back to moscow and the people sang and they danced and it was good right like and then they chose a new guy named Porsh porshenko was he good was he bad i don't know he's he's his own guy um, I don't really know. He wasn't great. He was kind of corrupt. Um, but he wasn't too bad. He he tried to work with us, right? So you have to understand, just because y Yanukovych got kicked out of, of Ukraine doesn't mean all the corruption left. Doesn't mean all the corruption left. So, like, there's this company called Bursi Bursima. Bursima. Um, and it was a, it was owned by this guy named E, uh, what's his name? I have the fucking map, dude. Hold on. Let me pull up the map.
Oh, wrong one. This one. All right. So this guy here, Victor. Uh, no, no, this guy. Uh, Zolchevsky. Mikola Zolchevsky. Back in 2012. Back in 2012, before, before um, Yanukovych got ousted. Yanukovych. I don't know. If that's really his name. I have to look it up again. It's like right there, guy. Yeah, Yanukovych. Right bef so before two years before Yanukovych got ousted, his company Burisma was under um, investigation for for corruption. Like, uh, and it was under under investigation also by the UK, but they couldn't get anywhere because there was this Ukrainian prosecutor by the name of Viktor Shogun Sh Shokin, who kept blocking everything. So we, they, they knew that Bursima was a bad company, that it was being used to embezzle money, but they couldn't prove it because the, um, the guy, Victor Shokin, kept blocking it. Anyways, um, they find this guy named Hunter Biden, and they're like, hey, dude, you want to be on this board? Of, of this company in in Ukraine and Hunter Biden's like sure I said right as Hunter Biden agreed to join the board Zolchevsky um like embezzled a bunch of money and fled ah so Hunter Biden was literally holding the bag he was literally holding the bag at, after they like took all the money and ran it's kind of like sad It's kind of sad, but that's what happened. And then, um, after that, after Zolchevsky fled, after Yanukovych fled, they got this new guy in, right? And then Joe Biden comes in and is trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. Like, what, what's happening here? Like, are you guys are going to the West or are you guys on Team Russia like those other people were? Uh... And the guys are like, no, 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 we're really on, on Team go, go West. We're on Team West. And they're like, all right. Joe Biden's like, all right, prove it. If you're on Team West, there's this guy named Victor Shokin who's blocking the investigation into, into Burisma. I want you, like, the United States wants you to kick him out. He's, he's corrupt. He's on Team Russia. And, and the, the guy, Poroshenko, is like, all right, fine. Dude, you're out. Boom, gone. <laughs> so the dude, Shokin, is, is on Team Russia. Team Trump. What's up, my homies? This is trippy, dude. And then it stops. <laughs> it's just like a little patch. Well, here, I can... Get some. Get some. All right. So that explains the Biden Burisma thing in Ukraine. Ukraine's trying to rid itself of Russian corruption. Yeah, Ukraine's trying to rid itself of Russian corruption. And Russia is constantly trying to re-corrupt Ukraine and draw it back into Russia. Uh, where did I even come in from? You know, I get experience points for breaking these things. If you're mending, you need it. Oh, but you can't break it. You won't break it. Ah. Oh. I don't need experience. Oh, up there. Yeah, but I'm not interested. Like, OK. 
Okay. What was I saying? So Biden, okay. So, so. So Trump and Putin have a deal. Putin says, Trump, you get it. I'll help you get into office. And then you're going to do a bunch of things for me. Take sanctions off. Destroy NATO. Um, get me out of these treaties. Uh, you know, a whole bunch of shit. And Trump says, uh, Trump agrees. Trump, Trump, Trump goes along with it. <laughs> and then, so, Russia. Russia uses its active measures group now that remember i was telling you active measures was shitty in the 80s because all the all the media was controlled but once they hit the 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 internet all that was busted wide open it was made wide open and and facebook it was a company that basically exists to learn how to manipulate humans and then sell that information. <laughs> that's exact that's that's what Facebook is. It's a company that learns how to it's that exists to learn how to manipulate humans. It's a bad company. I mean so so Cambridge Analytica is basically like Facebook on crack. And they they like use their um they use their 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 tools to be able to like influence humans really 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 well, and then they've got a map of the American elector electorate. Um, the Re Paul Manafort got a hold of polling data from from the from the Republican like. I don't know, election committee, whatever the, their deal is. But super detailed polling information that you only get when, you know, you're running a campaign for presidency. And he got a copy of it and he gave it, he handed it off to a, a Russian oligarch dude who then handed it off to Putin, who then handed it off to his team so that they knew where to strike in order to change the outcome of the election. And then when that happened, Donald Trump was beholden to, to, um, to, uh, to Vladimir Putin and to drive that point home in in 2018 there was a video or he Putin and Trump met in Helsinki a summit just them just those two that's it <laughs> it was crazy Every, all the Americans told him not to do it and he did it anyways because he's beholden to Putin dude he's he, he's on team Putin and then when he came out of that meeting, he was asked point blank, do you believe the Americans or do you believe the Russians? And Donald Trump said, I believe the Russians. I believe Putin. He was the president of the United States. And, and he said, I believe Putin. I don't believe the Americans. So, I mean, I'm not making this up, right? I'm not, it's not a, like, like, it's not a conspiracy. I'm telling you this because, like, the most condensed version possible. I can, like, if you want to spend hours looking up the clips and, and news stories, sure, we can do that, right? You want you want to see a clip real quick about uh, Putin and Trump? Damn it. For each president, President Trump. Yes. I told you, dude. I'm um, not joking. Just now, President Putin denied having anything to do with the election interference in 2016. Every U.S. intelligence agency has concluded that Russia did. What? Who? My first question for you, sir, is who do you believe? My second question is, would you now, with the whole world watching, tell President Putin, would you denounce what happened in 2016, or would you warn him to never do it again? So let me just say that we have. You know, hold on. I have a better copy. Groups that are wondering why the FBI never took. I have a better copy, dude. Oh, it hurts my ears. For each president, President Trump. Still Trump does. First. Um, just now, President Putin denied having anything to do with the election interference in 2016. Every U.S. I have to change this because it's only coming out of one channel. Did. What? Who? My first question for you, sir, is who do you believe? 
My second question is, would you now, with the whole world watching, tell President Putin, would you denounce what happened in 2016, and would you warn him to never do it again? So let me just say that we have two thoughts. You have groups that are wondering why the FBI why haven't they taken the survey? All right, hold on. Let's try that again. President Trump, yes. you first. Um, just now, President Putin denied having anything to do with the election interference in 2016. Every U.S. intelligence agency has concluded that Russia did. What, who, my first question for you, sir, is who do you believe? My second question is, would you now, with the whole world watching, tell President Putin, would you denounce what happened in 2016, and would you warn him to never do it again? So let me just say that. So, would you denounce what happened in 2016, and would you tell him to never do it again? Two, pl two, pl uh, point blank questions. Like you can't get any way, you can't get around that, right? Do you denounce what happened because the Americans are saying this happened? So, your Ameri your your own team is saying, and all your allies are saying that this happened. Would you denounce it, number one? And then number two, would you tell him never do it again? to do it again? Now, you would expect the President of the United States to get, say, yes, I believe my people, and I would denounce this guy right here of Russia. You would expect that. That's your expectation. Let's, let's hear what happens. We have two thoughts. You have groups that are wondering why the FBI never took the server. What? Why they taken the server? So the first thing he does off the bat is criticize the FBI. <laughs> the first thing he does is criticize the FBI. He doesn't answer the question, who do you believe? Do you believe the Americans and the allies? Or do you believe Vladimir Putin and the Russians? And the first thing he does is criticizes the FBI. What does he criticize the FBI about? About a, a non-existent conspiracy theory about some server. Why was the FBI told to leave the office of the Democratic National Committee. He's talking bullshit. He, they weren't told to leave. It's bullshit. But back then, we didn't know it, right? Back then in 2018, we didn't know it was bullshit. So he's spewing bullshit right now because we all know it's just bullshit. This is, he's just making shit up. Committee. I've been wondering that. I've been asking that for months and months, and I've been tweeting it out and calling it out on social media. Yeah. Where is the server? I want to know where is the server? What he's doing is he's trying to like misdirect you away from the, the question that was just asked, which is, you know, do you denounce, do you side with the Americans or do you side with the Putin and will you tell him never to do it again? First of all, he's doing nothing about denou denouncing um, what happened in 2016. He's not even not even trying. The first thing he does is criticize the, the FBI, the Americans, his own team. He criticizes his own team. Then he goes off on, remember, remember I told you about active measures. Active measures is that Russian propaganda thing that didn't work so good in the 80s, but with the 90s, with the internet, now it's exploded. Now, <clears throat> the idea behind active measures is to make a person so confused that they no longer believe that truth is, is, is real or that it's knowable. So that since truth is no longer real or knowable, the person will go with what they f what they what they feel is true, or if it's not what they feel is true, <laughs> what the guy with power tells them is true. So truth no longer becomes what's actually there, but what feels true, or what the guy in power tells you is true. So what he's doing here with this whole like server, server, server bullshit is he's trying to confuse people so that they don't know, they, they refuse to believe in truth anymore. They give up on the idea of truth. Like he just wants to confuse them. And it, it worked. Like how many people know about this clip? How many Americans know about this clip? Like this happened in 2018, dude. <laughs> how, many, how many Americans know about it? Server and what is the server saying with what is the server saying what the fuck are you talking about dude is making shit up he is literally making shit up but back in 2018 we we're like the fuck is going on well most people were i was like he's a traitor but you know that being said all i can do is ask the question my 
right? So he was asked a question. He's like, do you denounce what happened in 2016? And will you tell Vladimir Putin never to do it again? That was the question. So what the fuck is he talking about? He's the first thing he did was bullshit was was like shit on the FBI. And then he talked a bunch of like nonsense of some made up conspiracy theory meant to throw you off to confuse you. People came to me, Dan Coates came to me and some others. They said they think it's Russia. People came to me, his own people. They came to me. Dan Coates was like the head of uh, director of, of uh, NSA, National you know, I, I don't know, some big ass government agency. <laughs> like, and they say, we think it's Russia. So in other words, all the American, and, and how does America get its, its intel? It gets help from its allies. It's not just getting its own intel. It's also getting the intel from its allies. If its allies get a good tip, they'll pass it along to us. If we get a good tip, we'll pass it along to them. It, that's how it works. So it's, it's Dan Coates, some, some, some guys, his, like the FBI, the CIA, the NSA, <laughs> it's like the, um, all these like foreign allies who are helping us, they all come and say, Russia did it. That's what he says, right? Uh, I have uh, President Putin. Uh, he just said it's not Russia. So that's that he's 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 laid it out for you, right? He's laid it out. The Americans, the American Intelligence Committee or uh, community. FBI, CIA, NSA, uh, I don't know how many uh, other uh, other ones there are. Uh, the the foreign intelligence agencies, like all of those guys, they all come up and say, yeah, Russia fucking did it, dude. And then Russia comes and says, uh, Putin says, uh, no, I didn't do it. We didn't do it. So where do you stand, Donald Trump? Where do you stand? You laid it out perfectly. You laid it out clearly. Where do you stand? And look what what happens. I will say this, I don't see any reason why it would be, but... He doesn't see any reason why it would be Russia. Just because the NSA, CIA, FBI, the, the intelligence community, all our allies came up and said, oh, it's Russia. Just because it's that, he doesn't see anything. He doesn't see. He doesn't see why it would be. Just because all his guys tell him doesn't. See, he doesn't see why. But but he had throws in a but. Watch. But I really do want to see the server. What? You just sided with Russia, and the and and then right after you sided with Russia, you go off on like some bullshit server like conspiracy theory that turned out to be bullshit it was bullshit there's nothing behind anything you're saying right now but at that time 2018 nobody knew like people were confused like it, it wasn't as clear we didn't have the benefit of hindsight back then like like it was hard to like explain to people that you're just talking bullshit that you're just like creating an air of in like you're just insinuating creating an air of distrust that you could play up in the media that's that's like the entire point of, of what you do. But that's what he's doing right now when he talks about the server. Uh, but I have, uh, I have confidence in both parties. You have confidence in both the NSA, the CIA, the FBI, the Americans. You have confidence in America and her allies. And you have confidence in Vladimir Putin and Russia. I, I really believe that this will probably go on for a while, but I don't think it can go on without finding out what happened to the server. See, see what I mean? Through repetition of server, 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 he got it stuck in people's heads and he and it totally like people forget that he sided with Russia. They forget that he that he's shat all over the FBI because he keeps harping on the server. But that's what he did. He, he sided with, with Russia and he shat on the FBI. And now he's covering it up with server nonsense. What happened to the servers of the Pakistani gentleman? What? What? What are you talking about, dude? There's no servers of Pakistani general. Your gentleman, you're making shit up. You're, he's literally making shit up. Back then, it was hard to call out. But like now it's easy. He's not president anymore. There was never any Pakistani server dude. There was never any servers. He's making shit up.
that worked on the DNC. Where are those servers? They're missing. Where are they? What There's never any servers. Hillary Clinton's emails. See, now he's back on the emails. The emails were a bullshit thing. You know what the entire, there of, of like the 33,000 emails, it was three of the emails, three, three of them. And you know what it was? It was, it was this marking. It was blob, it, oh wait, no, no, here, shit. Oh no, what have I done? For each president, President Trump, yes. you first. Um, just now, President Putin denied having anything to do with the election interference in 2016. Every right. U.S. intelligence agency has concluded that... Of the Pakistani gentlemen that were servers, they're missing. Where are they? What happened to Hillary Clinton's emails? 30 Hillary, Clinton e e Hillary Clinton's emails is like this. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Can you see? Oh, no, I'm in the way. Here, let me get me out of the way. And then he, here's the here's the classification marking, and that's it. That little C, that little C, that 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 little C was was the entirety, the entirety of 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 the of the Clinton scandal. That was of the email scandal. The the whole thing, that little tiny C, just like that in parentheses on three emails that you would never see and they're not actual real classification markings so it was bullshit the whole thing's bullshit but that's what he's writing on he's writing on bullshit to hide the fact that he just admitted that he sides with russia over the united states 3,000 emails gone just gone I think in Russia they wouldn't be gone so easily I think he just praised Ru he just praised russia like, did you hear that? He's like, in, in, uh, Mono, dude, what are you doing to me? He's like, in, in Russia, it wouldn't be gone. We can't get Hillary so easily. A thousand emails, gone, just gone. I think in Russia, they wouldn't be gone so easily. I think it's a disgrace that we can't get Hillary Clinton's 33,000 emails. There were no 30,000 emails, dude. It was bullshit. He's just making shit up with big scary l numbers to scare people. And it worked. It worked. Like, there's still Americans who are still, like, talking about that bullshit. Dude, they're, they're, like, it's amazing. Emails. I have great confidence in my intelligence people. Do you have great intelli confidence in your intelligence people? You just told them they're fucking full of shit that you b believe Russia and Putin. But, uh... But I have great confidence in my intelligence people, but say that again, say that again. My intelligence people, Clinton's 33,000 emails. So I have great confidence in my intelligence people, but, but. Uh, I will tell you that President Putin was extremely strong and powerful in his denial today. And so, in other words, Donald Trump has great confidence in his intelligence people but the, the guy who who everyone says did it says he didn't do it very strong and powerfully says he didn't do it so i'm so donald trump is gonna ignore all the americans and go with the guy who they say did it you know why because donald trump is blackmailed by by vladimir putin <laughs> donald trump is on team putin vladimir putin got donald trump into power the first time and what he did is an incredible offer. So now here's the offer. Vladimir Putin offers to have the investigators who are investigating Donald Trump. He's offering to have those people be sent to Russia. I wonder what will happen to them once they get to Russia. Like, if you were a guy investigating Donald Trump, and Donald Trump says, Hey, hey guy investigating me. I want you to go visit Vladimir Putin in 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 Russia. What do you think is going to happen to you? <laughs> Watch, listen, listen. He offered to have the people working on the case come and work with their investigators with respect to the 12 people. I think that's an incredible offer. Okay? Can you believe that? So the whole the, the beginning question, the very very first question was will you denounce 
what happened in 2016 and will you warn Vladimir Putin never to do it again? And what we heard out of Donald Trump was, <laughs> I believe Vladimir Putin over everyone else and the FBI is shit. <laughs> and if, <laughs> and maybe I should send the investigators to Russia. That's what I heard. That's that's what that's what Donald Trump said, and like, so Donald Trump on a world stage basically gave Vladimir Putin a blowjob, and how many Americans know about it? How many Americans even care? Like, do you think? Do I think my 80-year-old friend knows about this about that clip? Like, maybe if I had a good phone, I could show it to him, but it'd be tiny, so he couldn't see it. Maybe I could, pl but he doesn't have any, like, big screen TV to plug it into. Like, I'd have no way of doing it. I have no way of showing him. Like, so, like, it's hard for him to comprehend that, Vla that Donald Trump, the president of the United States, sided with Vladimir Putin. Like, it would be hard for him. He'd have to see it and hear it, but I can't do it because he's 80 years old. He doesn't have a big screen TV. <laughs> and he can't watch a fucking, like... I mean, I could try a little fucking phone, but, you know... Yeah. I have, like... He's a smart guy, but he's 80, and he only gets... He only listens to NPR on the radio. He... He would have never, like, if they did play that clip, they might have played a tiny clip of it, but not the whole thing. Like, most Americans do not know about the Helsinki trip. Like, I, like, I can't believe it, man. I can't believe it. So, hey, what time is it? 6.30. I think it's time that I call my friend and see if I can bust it out. All right. Peace out. Next time. Stop.